A young man wakes up in a strange room without any idea of how he got there or who kidnapped him. He looks around the room, finding only a shower and a toilet, then he begins pounding on the wall asking to be let out. Suddenly he notices a monitor showing the word share, so the guy begins entering different commands that could possibly open a door, but nothing seems to work. The computer asks him to share again, so the guy confirms that command. Now he's recording, so he begins asking the camera tons of questions to understand the situation, but nobody answers. After using the toilet, he discovers there is no water in it and the sink isn't working either, so he tries using the computer. When he writes water, the computer says it equals 5. Not understanding, the guy lies down on the floor to wait. Suddenly a fart escapes him and it gets him some points, allowing him to get the water he wanted. After washing his face, the man realizes this is a broadcast and real people are watching him, so he starts to fart while moving ridiculously around the room, but it doesn't get him many points. He tries some commands on the computer and manages to turn off the lights, so he sleeps on the floor. Sometime later, the computer reminds him to share again, so he goes on a rant about the situation before taking a shower. A few points come in so he rushes to start being silly again, only to fall on the floor. As he groans in pain, the points start going up a bit more quickly. Unfortunately it is not much, so when he orders something to eat the only thing they send him is a bowl of dog food, which appears in a hidden hatch in the wall. The guy complains and tries to send it back, but none of his commands work. With no other choice, the man starts eating the food and even acts like a dog for the audience, including barking and panting. This brings in even more viewers and donations, which allows him to order some clothes. However it is still not enough and they send him some female underwear, which he models for the screen. That night, the guy goes to sleep on the floor while crying in despair. The next day, he starts trying to entertain the viewers the best he can, like doing silly dances and saying whatever comes to mind. Eventually he gathers enough points to buy a t-shirt and an inflatable mattress. As days pass, points keep piling up and he can buy better stuff like more clothes, shaving tools, a mirror, decent food, and even alcohol. He is supposed to be a vegetarian, but they only send him meat and he has no choice but to eat it. In the end he ends up loving it, and the audience rewards him with more points. One day he drinks too much and tries to smash the monitor with an empty bottle, causing his room to lose all power. The guy tries new things like pulling the monitor and the food hatch, but nothing moves even an inch. He gets so angry that he punches the screen, only to hurt his hand. Then despair takes over and he throws a tantrum, begging to be released while throwing the few things he has. When he loses all energy, he begins apologizing, but it isn't until he starts coughing that the power comes back. Suddenly the screen shows an older man living in the same kind of room, although he has way more stuff. This old man explains sometimes there are glitches in the system, but once a person reaches a certain level, they gain access to the common network. That means the guy can communicate with the other people that are stuck here as well. Nobody knows anything about their kidnappers though, they all woke here just like the main guy did without knowing how or why. Now the main guy has someone to keep him company. In fact the older man never shuts up, jumping from topic to topic without much thought, and his never-ending rants get him lots of points. The main guy is starting to get annoyed by him, but one day, he hears the older man coughing quite badly. He tries to contact the man and as he figures out what commands to use, he finally finds all the other channels. There are all kinds of content, cooking lessons, makeup tips, and a woman doing yoga who is so pretty that the main guy can't help staring at her for a while. After lots of trial and error, the guy finally connects with the older man, realizing each of them has a channel number. The main guy is 14 and the older man is 73. 14 changes his attitude and befriends 73, chatting with him often, sharing meals, learning magic from him, and singing together. Sometime later 14 manages to get in contact with 28, the woman who does yoga at night while the other bloggers are sleeping. After admiring her beauty and her sense of peace, he sends her a donation. The next morning, 14 begins buying nicer things for his room while still chatting with 73, who explains they can't stay at one level because then the viewers will stop loving them and sending donations. They need to be constantly growing and improving their content to keep the audience eating out of the palm of their hands. From then on 14 begins trying tons of different things like stand-up comedy, exercising, cooking, singing, and the magic tricks he learned from 73. His audience keeps growing and so do his points, allowing him to buy even more things to use in his streams. He also practices yoga following 28's tutorials and tries to buy medicine for 73, who is constantly coughing. However he makes a typo and ends up watching the room of 11, a woman who just got there and is currently showering. 11 freaks out when 14 appears on her screen and accuses him of being the kidnapper, but 14 quickly clarifies things. Once she has calmed down, 11 proposes they should have cohabitation rules. At that moment 73 joins the conversation and 11 asks both men if someone ever tried to escape, so 14 shares about his attacking the monitor and how that behavior was punished. 11 thinks they should still analyze every bit of information they have and find a vulnerability in the system, but 73 tells her she is just being condescending and yells a lot before leaving the conversation. A confused 11 wonders why they were chosen since it's strange that a company would provide housing and feeding to random strangers. 
14 explains he wasn't anyone important and admits this life is better than what he used to have because now he matters to someone. Sometime later, 14 starts a little show with puppets made of socks, which amuses 73 and gets him tons of donations. One day 14 decides to gift 11 a shower curtain but this angers her because she doesn't want to be pitied, she wants to be independent. The next few days, 14 entertains the audience with drawing lessons, but since he is a horrible artist he makes it like a comedy skit and presents himself as the model. All these crazy ideas get 14 lots of points and he keeps making his room a better place to live in. However 11 can't stand any of this and snaps, saying they should start a revolution. This triggers an argument among the three friends that doesn't end until 73 is coughing too much to keep going. That night, 73 begins coughing more severely than usual and chokes on it, causing him to have a small seizure and fall against the monitor. Now his body is so weak that he can't move. 14 begs his audience to help while 11 tries to find a useful menu on the computer, only to accidentally press the wrong button. Suddenly 73's room starts heating up and soon flames are coming out of the walls, burning every single object and 73 himself. His friends can only watch as 73 dies a painful death before his camera goes off. After spending some time in silence to grieve, 14 contacts 11 and tells her not to blame herself. She refuses to chat with him so 14 tries one of his puppet shows, making her announce that she wants to get drunk. Both 14 and 11 order lots of alcohol and start drinking while pretending they are dancing with each other. They share the last thing they remember doing before they were kidnapped and their dancing gets more playful, including the removal of clothing. They realize they are into each other and decide to show off more skin as they use their hands to reach the peak of pleasure. Once they are done, they realize this hasn't helped with their sadness and 14 admits he can still hear 73's voice. He begins ranting about the situation just like 73 used to do and agrees with 11's old plan. All the bloggers need to come together and find a vulnerability in the system since 73's death proves mistakes do happen. Then 14 sits in front of the camera and offers a heartful speech, earning him more points which he says he doesn't want. He explains how much 73 meant to him and begs the other bloggers to start looking for any kind of detail that may be used as a clue to escape. Suddenly 28 contacts 14, saying his speech was cool and comparing it to her philosophical talks about a person's inner circle. 11 gets annoyed because what they are doing isn't supposed to be metaphorical and calls her out, so 28 decides to leave the conversation. Afterward 14 and 11 check the other channels and are happy to see some bloggers have joined their plan, for example a woman has found a way to make it rain inside her room. Later that night when 28 is about to start her yoga stream, 14 decides to chat with her. 28 says 11 is too angry and negative, and that attitude will drive them crazy. She believes in keeping things positive and tells 14 that he is popular because he makes people smile, which is incredibly valuable considering the state of today's society. Then they start doing yoga together, and their stream causes an annoyed 11 to wake up earlier than usual. Sometime later, 14 checks on 11, who won't stop watching the other channels. As time passes more and more people agree to their plan and have discovered a few cool things, like controlling the ventilation system or even moving a wall. 11 is eager to create a map of the place and bring it down, but 14 isn't so enthusiastic anymore. 28 made him think that what he does is important, so he tells 11 that some people are happy here and they shouldn't feed them anger. Not taking him seriously, 11 decides to cut her hair as a sign of rebellion. Later that night, 28 starts her yoga stream, and an annoyed 11 reminds her they are supposed to have cohabitation rules, she considers night streams rude because they keep others awake. An argument ensues and 28 accuses 11 of treating the other bloggers like her puppets. 14 makes them stop, and 11 points out that 28 isn't his friend, she is. After seeing another new guy arrive, 14 starts seeing 11's point again and makes a stream asking all the other bloggers to send him one point. A glitch occurs and his points start going up incredibly fast, causing 28 to call him toxic and a thief. A furious 11 makes it rain inside 28's room, and 28 says 11 needs to feel the warmth of their light. This triggers the heat on the walls, and soon 11 is burning down like 73 did before the screen goes off. A devastated 14 falls to his knees and has a breakdown when suddenly, a door opens behind him. He rushes to get out but at that moment he sees his screen turning on again, so he comes back to tell the other bloggers this proves they can achieve things working together. However the door closes, and now 14 has to start performing again.